today. All right, guys, on behalf of the WorkStream team, we want to thank you for attending our first ever HR panel. We have an amazing group of people here today that want to share with you um, how to hire part-time or, as otherwise stated, deskless workers. So for me, the job description is 100% the most important part of your entire like hiring process. Everything stems from the job description. Um, I am 100% aligned with the goal of view in that like you want to craft it in a way where it's fun and where it's exciting and where it's also inclusive and that everybody with a pulse is interested in your roles. Uh, but at the same time, everything downstream in the process comes from that. So I always say, failing to plan is planning to fail. Really having a deep understanding of the persona of who you want to hire and then trying to build a description that describes that person is really important. But also really understanding how that person fits into your business and putting it into your job description. Because that also plays a role in what types of questions you ask. I think a lot of candidates, in terms of the no-show rate, is because they're not contacted quickly enough. And just from my viewpoint, if they're applying to 10 jobs, they've already identified, okay, this, I'll work at these 10 places, all day, job juice, whatever it is, Starbucks. They've already identified that. Now it's about, let me easily apply to it, who's gonna respond to me first. So if you take a week, you're probably already gone. Um, if, you, if they're not showing up, it's because maybe you can schedule the interview fast enough. So I think given that we're spending a ton of time on our phones, being able to walk by the store, easily apply quickly, it is crucial to the success of getting a bunch of applicants. Whether they're quality or not, that's for you to determine. But um, I do think technology is going to have an increasing role in the QSR space from that standpoint. This is actually like the best part of WorkStream in the application. So as far as automating this for sale, we had so many people prior to WorkStream that gave us their ability, and the minute we hired them, that changed. And so you know, we said, well, we hired you to work weekends. They said, well, I don't want to work weekends. But it was in the job description you agreed to. So you know, those are, those are things that WorkStream has really helped with. Um, we hold them to it. If you can't work the weekends, but on your application, you said I'm available on Saturdays and Sundays, that you're just not going to get shipped and eventually you're either going to get fired or you're just going to phase out. Yeah, so at Crafty we have uh, a very realist culture and there are two questions that uh, I love asking no matter what role we're hiring for. Number one, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself and your work experience. Because the way that someone talks about themselves and their work says a lot about them. Um, number two, what's a mistake you've made and you know, what have you learned from it, right? Because um, they can spend the mistake put the blame on someone else, you learn a lot about someone and how to respond to that. Um, and you know, for us, we're, we're such a customer-assessed uh, culture and customer-assessed company that, you know, to give a greater level of service or hospitality is a very egoless person. So, yeah, those are the two questions I got to ask. We prepare to say your job during this screen is you're going to prepare with one of our employees, you're going to work a shift, and they're going to engage three things. Do you follow directions? Do you listen? And, and do you show up on time? So we got some three basic things. And we can have anyone from uh, someone who was hired a week ago to someone who's been there for 10 years. Just three basic things. Because if they have that in their toolkit, then we can turn them into anything else. That's just the level of skill that the fire is a culinary profession in my restaurant. But I wouldn't say it's automated if you're just systematized. And it does involve a lot of people, but I actually think that creates better culture than the higher level.